good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we have a San Antonio Spurs rebuild on tap today we're going to be doing a trade Lamarcus Aldridge and DeMar DeRozan video the team is off to a bad start and the rumors are rambling around the San Antonio Spurs whether or not they'll come back from their bad start remains to be seen obviously but jumping to some conclusions here I'm gonna go ahead and trade them both and assume Greg Popovich's days of coaching are numbered I could be wrong about that but before you end this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's try to reach 7,000 for the end of the year. That'd be absolutely amazing. It's December. The year is coming up to a wrap. If we could reach 7K by the end of the year, I'd be absolutely grateful. I'd even be willing to give uh, do like a little giveaway if we're able to do it. But uh, like I said, I'm going to tr be trading both Aldridge and DeRozan in this video and just try to rebuild the San Antonio Spurs back to where they belong. Now, I don't know what I necessarily want, but executives or just like i guess exec executives in general are saying that DeRozan's and uh, aldridge's trade value is just like so it's just plummeted it's not great it's not like this Sp the spurs aren't going to get a ton of value back in return they're going to get a little bit of assets but not too many so when i do this trade i'm just going to look at the trade finder and see what the best trade is for me and that, that's it that's all i'm going to do i don't think i'm going to try to make some fancy trade we're just going to go to the trade finder so uh, we got Tobias Harris from the 76ers. I'm not going to do that. Middleton doesn't make a ton of sense. Levine would be all right, but I don't like this idea for the Bulls. Uh, we get Gordon Hayward, but I don't know. I kind of want a young player in return, to be honest. We get Zeller and MKG. Boyan Bogdanovich and Joe Ingles. Harrison Barnes and Bialica. Marcus Moore Sr. Nikola Vucevic. Uh, Gary Harris. All right, I'm going to kind of skim through these now. I'm just like saying every name that I don't need to. So, Okay uh i think this is my favorite trade one being he gets sent back to toronto where he belongs and two we get og and an ob now i'm going to and ibok is on a one-year deal so he can just leave after the season now i'm going to try to squeeze a first round pick out of them as well i don't know if it's going to work but let's see if i can so let's see if i can get their 2021 unprotected okay they're going to counter they want my 2020 unprotected i can't do that i cannot do that i will give you like my 2023 unprotected and a couple of seconds but that's about it i'm not that's as far as i'll go and they're still not interested they want to give me shamari pawns i don't have to give up a 2020 first and i get a 2021 first i'm cool with that i think we'll do this uh we're gonna go ahead and do this trade we're gonna get drozen out of here and just like that we get og and anobi who's gonna be a nice young player and we get a first round pick so yeah that's about the value i can see that the spurs get out of demar Derozan. now aldridge i don't know if i want to trade him now or just wait but now we have a 2021st and we have two 2021s which is great and uh now i kind of want to get another 2021st but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do it let's see what kind of value comes up for aldridge i'm not sure we're gonna get any but i can always wait till the off season if i want to try to trade him but let's see what we got in the trade finder if we go looking uh conley busevich delon wright Millsap. Mm. we get DeRozan right back we can get Clint Capella, but I don't want to really give up OG and then Thomas Bryant. So yeah, not really liking any of these offers. I think I'm going to try to trade into the draft with Aldridge after the season's over. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate this first season and we're going to see how we finish out. I'm going to hope that we don't win too many games and we can have a lottery pick and rebuild the Spurs back to glory. At the end of this first season, Philadelphia has won the championship as they beat the Lakers in five games. So yeah, if you wanted to know, that's what happened. Took off my jacket, got a little hot in here, so yeah, that's why it may look like I'm not wearing the same thing. I, I don't know, maybe you didn't even notice at all, but just thought I'd say it anyway. But we went 33 and 49, and here were the season stats. We could go look. We had 21 points from Aldridge, 15 from Rudy Gay, 12 and a half. So yeah, obviously the team is not really equipped to where we want it to be right now, which is why we are in this offseason here to fix stuff. So let's see what we can get what we get out of this we got the ninth pick overall let's see if we can uh some okay nope we stay at number nine that's fine we can still get some value here we don't have a head coach right now it looks like greg popovich might have been gone so or he might be gone so let's say for instance he retired and he's gone now so we have to move on with our lives and sign some good head coaches and or, or some good coaches in general and then now we got ourselves a rebuild to do so we got the ninth pick and a second overall pick which happens to be number 10 truthfully i want to trade into the draft that's what i want to do dejounte murray uh is already getting paid 64 million a year we have patty mills is bad contract it's just it's time to change this roster up so let's do that lamarck saldridge it's time to trade you now i really want to trade into the draft i did just see jalen brown though and jalen brown actually wouldn't be a bad piece to bring to the team 
I am almost tempted to do it. Jalen Brown from Mark Saldridge. I actually want to do this trade. You know what? I'm doing it. Welcome to the team, Jalen Brown. I like that. I, you know, truthfully wanted to trade into the draft, but Jalen Brown, I'm cool with that. So we have Murray, Derek White. We don't have a shooting guard. We have Lonnie Walker, who just came from the G League. We have uh, Jalen Brown now. We could play him back as shooting guard if we need to. OG at small forward. Carroll, we're going to trade. Uh, Rudy Gay, we're going to trade. Uh, yeah, so yeah, obviously there's a lot of rebuilding to do for this team. But let's go with the best available player. Or can we even move up in this draft? Let's see if we can move up. I'm going to try to move up. Let's see what we can move up to. Uh, let's try to get... Number one might be... Uh, kill. Okay, let's try number two. All right, let's see if I gave you... What if I gave you Patty freaking Mills? Would you like that? No. How about my second round pick as well? And I'll also give you... Mm, let's say I gave you Trey Lyles. How about that? All for number two. No, okay. How about if we go to number four? How about number four? Okay, we move up uh, five spots. I'm cool with. We didn't give up too much. I don't. What did I give up anyway? I don't even remember. A first round pick, a second round, Trey Lyles and Patty Mills. So we got rid of Patty Mills' contract while doing it. So now we have the fourth overall pick. We should get a good player here, which is great. So let's see who's been taken so far. And James Wiseman was taken. I really wanted James Wiseman. Cole Anthony, Anthony Edwards was taken as well. Who else we got? We got Jay McDaniels and LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball obviously uh, has the most potential here. We do have DeJounte Murray, so I don't know if I want to disrespect him. What if I traded this pick? Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I could just draft LaMelo Ball as well. I don't know. I might just do that. Uh, Buddy Heald. Oh, we do get some good value, actually. Brogdon, Holiday. Devin Booker, ooh, D Book. I almost want to bring D Book to San Antonio. Like I said, this isn't realistic by any means. So uh, we do have to trade a 2021 first. We get Devin Booker though, and Dejounte Murray, Devin Booker, Jalen Brown. That would be a lot of our cap space like gone though. On just and we wouldn't really have much of a front court. Now that I think about that, should I just draft? I think I should probably just draft somebody. But, I mean, there's really not a... I mean, Jay McDaniels, I don't know if I want to take him number four. And uh, LaMelo Ball is the obvious choice here. and Or, or RJ Hampton. But I kind of want to leave Murray as the starting point guard. That's... Okay. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going for it. We're going for it all. Let's get, let's get Devin Booker. Let's do it. Screw it. I'm doing it. Devin Booker, welcome to San Antonio. You are now going to be the starting shooting guard of the team. Okay. So, this just got a little interesting. So, rookie signings gone. Player options, none. And then uh, qualifying offers, Shamari Pons. i um, not worried about bringing in you guys back. Besides Yaka Pertle, I'd definitely be interested. But the players we got this offseason are all under the age of 25, which is great. So Jalen Brown, Devin Booker are all on uh, big contracts, but that's all right. So we'll deal with that. Forbes, uh, Bellinelli, I'm going to renounce Sergi Baca. And then I also want to trade a couple players. So let's do that right now. Rudy Gay, don't really need you anymore, my friend. Let's try to get something in return, Beverly. Um, Rozier, Quinn Cook, Ross, Marine Prince wouldn't be a bad piece. Luke Kennard, Eric Gordon Diallo, Schroeder, uh, Ricky Rubio, Bryant would be an all right starting center. I uh, did see Larry Ness as well. What kind of deal is, is Marine Prince on a one year deal? He's got a two year contract. He's 26 year old. We get a second round pick. I think I'm going to do this. We're going to get Terrain Prince to probably be the starting power forward, I assume. And yeah, I mean, he'll be all right. And then we need a center still. Although we could just sign, what's his name? And then we can send Lucas Sandwich to the G League. Okay, so now I think we're good. Demar Carroll, I'm going to try to get it rid of as well. And then Derek White, it's going to be a good backup point guard. I think we're golden. So let's see what else we can get rid of. Uh, Prince, we just got. And then Keldon Johnson, Luca. We're going to probably send him to the G League. And let's get rid of Demar Carroll. No reason for him to be here anymore. Uh, let's see. Can I get a good center? Ed Davis, 31-year-old veteran. Ah, might be a bad, you know, decent backup piece. Aminu. If he wasn't on a large contract, I would do that, but I'm not gonna. So we're gonna get Ed Davis to be the backup center, I guess. So we got one, two, three, four-ish, five, six, seven, eight, and then Yaka Portal might be our starting center for now. Not a huge fan of that, but let's see if we can maybe sign a different center. Uh, JaVale McGee could be our starting center if we wanted him to. Aaron Baines, Myers Leonard, Mate Plumley, Yaka Pertle is probably going to have to be our starting center. Uh, but I'm going to sign JaVale McGee to a two-year deal because why not? I'm going to do it. And then we can always just trade him if it doesn't really work out. And then we're going to get Yaka Pertle back as well. So JaVale McGee, I'm going to grab him out. 
and then we should be golden. I'm going to get Yaka Pertle back as well. And yeah, I, I like how the team's looking so far. We could even sign our Baka back if we wanted to, but I'm not going to. So, um, Yaka Pertle, we're going to go ahead and give you a two-year deal, I guess. So we're going to be spending quite a bit at the center position, but it's all right. Changes are going to be coming, but that's going to be the first offseason. That's going to wrap it up. I like what we've done so far. Jalen Brown, Devin Booker, Murray. Oh, this should be interesting. This definitely should be interesting. Let's see. And then Tareem Prince. All right, so we got, yeah, I, I like this team. It, it's different. It's not something I've put together before. I like it, though. So this will only be the first offseason. We got two more to go. But let's just see how this first season goes. Hopefully, with the additions we've made and the new roster, um, good things happen. So we'll see what happens. And, uh... Let's go to the second season. At the end of the season, Giannis Antetokounmpo is your most valuable player. Cole Anthony on the Cleveland Cavaliers is your rookie of the year. Dennis Schroeder is your sixth man. Kawhi defense player and MPJ is your most improved. All right, so we went 47 and 35. Um, I'm not really sure where we're going to go from here, but DeJounte Murray's on your all defensive first team. And uh, did we get like a Devin Booker appearance or something like that? Just like anything weird like that. It doesn't look like it. All right. Uh, okay. No, never mind. We didn't. Okay. So we are the sixth seed in the Western Conference. Let's, let's go ahead and see how the stats look like. We had 32 from Devin Booker. Oh my goodness. And then 17 from Jalen Brown. 15 from Murray and 11 from JaVale McGee and 1.6 blocks. So he did all right. Tareem Prince with uh, 11 points as well. And then Derek White, seven. So yeah, I'm looking to definitely improve the roster. This was a uh, good improvement from last year, but I'm looking to make some upgrades as we're up 1-0 on Golden State. Uh, they do even it up with us though. Unfortunately, we're up 2-1 now. Can we take the 3-1 lead? We do. Can we go ahead and beat these guys? Can we get the upset win? Can we? Yes, we do. We are going on to the second round. That is what I'm talking about. Now we're facing Utah. We even it up with them. They're up 2-1, 3-1. Looks like they're going to upset us. Okay, so it's 3-2 right now. Let's go to SimCast and see if, okay, if, I mean, even if we found our way, uh, found our way to get back or past the Jazz, I don't see us beating the Clippers, which we're going to get, we're going to get beat here, which is fine. 24. So like I said, I'm looking to make some improvements. The roster was decent, but it's not spectacular yet. So I like where we've gone thus far, but there are some changes that need to be made. We need a better center. Devin Booker should have stayed. John T. Murray is staying. Uh, and then I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Jalen Brown just yet. I might trade him as well. Not for a fact. Not sure. We'll see how it goes. Player opt or league meetings, I should say. We're, we need a center that's going to help Devin Booker out, though. So that's what I plan on doing. I want a scoring center. But I don't know who that would be. Like, I would have to see. So let's see. Uh, did Toronto somehow? Uh, whoa. We trade. Okay, so the pick we traded for Devin Booker was our pick. And that ended up being. We ended up making the playoffs. So we traded. We didn't trade the Toronto pick, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so it's not rocket science. So we might get a top five pick. And we are at number three. My prayers have been answered. So this is how I can get my scoring center that I want. I just don't know who I want. So we're going to go to the draft. And uh, we have the third overall pick, which is great. Which is great and all. But I kind of want to go for something big. So Devin Booker, sitting at, you know, average 32 points. Let's try to get him some help. So Murray's going to stay, like I said. Jalen Brown. I like Jalen Brown. Don't get me wrong. Tareem Prince. I like him as well. But one of these guys is going to be traded. Who do I want, though, is the thing. I want a center that's going to, like, just do some work for us. So, selling Blazers, uh, you know, Nurkic would be fine, but it's not really what I'm looking for. Let's see. You know, I'm going to try to shoot big. I don't know if it's going to work. But, okay, so Jerome Bead's untouchable. I was going to try, but I, I didn't think I was going to succeed. But I was going to try. Uh, the Cavs are selling. Um, let's see what else we got as far as centers uh, that are around. Cousins is not really who he used to be, of course. Um... Gobert, Mitchell Robinson, Anthony Davis. Obviously, there's probably no way I'm getting him. Porzingis almost would be interesting to get if we could grab him. But I don't know if we'll be able to. Nikola Jokic would be awesome. And they're selling. Oh my gosh. I've never gotten Jokic before. But man, would that be something. And the Raptors are selling as well. I'm going to try for Jokic. I think it's going to be kind of impossible. But I'm going to try nonetheless. So let's see if we could get him. Let's go to the Nuggets. Yoke just trade value has got to be through the roof, right? I mean, he he did they didn't say he was untouchable. So let's see. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna have to trade Jalen Brown in the third pick. That is like gonna have to start this trade out. So I'm gonna trade all the picks I can. If I can get Jokic, that would be insane. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, but I'm gonna try. Okay, I'm gonna trade one more young player. 
Let's see who might be the guy. Um, we're gonna throw in. Nay, no. How about Yakapertle? <gasps> oh my gosh! We just got Jokic. I've never gotten Jokic. Holy crap! I've never gotten Jokic before. That is insane. Holy crap! That is a W. That is a new player I've never gotten in a Reba before. Okay, I will take it. I will take that. All right. So we just got Jokic. I know I just like mortgage our whole future, but it was still fun. I'm I'm happy with that. So player options. Keldon Johnson. We're gonna accept all these guys. Of course, we're gonna get our young players back. Pawns. We want um. OG back and Derek White, but I'm not worried about these other two. Wow, that is awesome. I cannot believe we just got Nikola Jokic. Oh my gosh. All right, so negative $22 million. This should hopefully be a championship roster now, but let's see. Oh yeah, so we got Murray, Devin Booker, Lonnie Walker. Murray's going to stay. Small forward. I kind of want to get OG back. And then Prince and Lucas Sandwich, you know, could do. So I think, and JaVale McGee could be a decent backup center. So yeah, I, I'm liking this. So I think we got a good roster. OG could be the starting small forward. So yeah, I'm liking this a lot, but we still could try to maybe find a better power forward if we wanted to, but I don't think we can. Or what we could do is move to Prince's small forward and I know he might go up. Okay, he doesn't go up too much actually. So I'm gonna leave him at power forward. So let's just get OG back. Let's get our young guys back because I don't think I'm gonna be able to afford much out here. Yeah, I don't really have the money. Oh my God, OG wants a huge, huge, huge bag. Okay. So I got to keep that in mind, but what, what can we just get back right away? So Derek wants, wants 11 mil, which actually isn't too bad. If you ask me, OG, you know what he's asking for is a little insane, but uh, we'll, we'll deal with that. I think I can just get him back on his qualifying offer. Cause I don't think anyone's going to give you that the money you're asking for, but it looks like we're going to get uh, Derek white back on a one year deal. Cause it, you know, the game likes to glitch. So that's fine. Did I just renounce the rights in OG? Gosh, dang it. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. Oh, I was not paying attention. Okay, let's get Iguodala, I guess, on a one-year deal. That is so annoying. Oh my gosh. All right, so hopefully we get OG back, but I, uh, let's go to player. Burger. I think he might just come back on his qualifying offer, hopefully, because I don't think anybody's going to give him 16 million. Please just come back, because I did not mean to renounce OG, but I might have done that just on accident. And I lost OG and Anobi. Wow, that's so annoying. Okay, so Iguodala, I, I guess Kelvin Johnson can start. That's fine. So Iguodala can back him up. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I guess we're good. i very annoyed that we lost OG. His defense would have been nice in three and D player. That's so irritating. I wasn't paying attention, but all right. We're going to go to the uh, third season now. This will be the third season. So we're going to go ahead and see how it goes. And hopefully... In this third season, we can win a championship with Nikola Jokic and Devin Booker paired together now. This should be interesting. In this third season, we went 50 and 32. Curry's your MVP. Bull Bulls, your rookie of the year. On what team? The Nuggets. Okay, Michael Porter Jr. is still your sixth man on the Jazz. Kawhi's defense player. John Morant's your most improved. Fizdale is coach of the year, even though the Knicks. I know want to fire him, I believe, but they haven't done it yet, so maybe I'm wrong. I'll be a first team, Curry, Trey Young, LeBron, Kawhi, Towns. Okay, that's good and all, but what about the all NBA second? We get Nikola Jokic, which is great, and no D book. All right, so offensive first team, DeJounte Murray makes it again, and no, obviously no dip. Uh, I don't know why I was even looking for Devin Booker on the all NBA first team. Gosh dang it, I'm faced. Oh, I do not like, I do not like facing the Grizzlies, dude. I really don't. But 23 points from Nikola Jokic, 24 from Booker. So we got another score here. I knew Jokic could score the ball, obviously. And obviously he facilitated the offense quite a bit. Prince did his thing. Murray, 13, 6, and 8. And, you know, good numbers from Murray as well. Cullen Johnson at the, as a starter, 11 points, 10 points from Lucas Sandwich. All right, so I don't like playing the Grizzlies and I'm nervous, but let's see if we can beat them. Uh, they're up 1-0. I told you, man. I told you. Okay, so we even it up. All right, 2-1 for us. Can we make it to the second round again? Okay, 2-2. Two, 3-2 two. Two for us. Win in six, please. No, game seven. Gosh dang it. I do not want a game seven, but we are getting a game seven. All right, give more minutes to DeJounte Murray. I want his defense on the floor. We're facing the Grizzlies. Let's go ahead and lock up John Morant and company. 
and it looks like we're gonna do that so 105 to 114 29 14 and 10 from nikola Jokic, 18 and 3 3 i would like a better game out of uh devin booker in a game seven situation but i'll take it so we win nonetheless now we get to face houston or los angeles i'm not excited about facing either of these teams but we'll see we get to face clippers did the clippers keep Kawhi and paul george because if they did we are absolutely screwed let's see uh they kept Kawhi. that's it they don't have paul george okay so i feel a little bit better i guess but let's see what happens we're up 1-0 on them 2-0 can we beat these boys let's go 3-0 we just swept the clippers that is what i'm talking about bye bye Kawhi. now we get to face the other la team who still have lebron and ad i'm gonna assume uh yes they do and all Ola... the oh my gosh they have old depot as well we are we are screwed there's no way we're beating this team all right let's see Let's see what happens. We're up 1-0 on them. Two, no freaking way. No freaking way. 3-1. We were, that is what I'm talking about. We're in the NBA Finals. Let's go. I cannot believe we beat them. Oh my gosh. 41 from D-Book. Let's go. 22 and 13 and 14. And let's face the Boston Celtics now. They're up 1-0, 2-0, 2-3. So we're down 3-1 to the Celtics. What do the Celtics have? Oh my gosh, I wanted this. This has been my favorite rebuild so far, and I really wanted this topped off with a championship, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Doesn't look like it. All right, so let's see if we can somehow come down from 3-1 deficit. That would actually be amazing, and it looks like we're going to win this one. We blow them out in this game. It looks like 111-103. Maybe it wasn't a blowout necessarily, but we did go ahead and take advantage. Now we're at home. All right, let's win this. Let's win this. We're at home. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, it's close, but we do squeeze out the win. Nikola Jokic with another triple-double. Now we're going on their home floor. We have all the momentum because we've come down from a 3-1 deficit. This would be, to top it all off, my favorite rebuild I've done on 2K20 thus far. Maybe even of all time. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. 3-1 lead blown by the Boston Celtics. And Nikola Jokic is your finals MVP. Uh, this was a banger. This was a banger video. I am very excited with the results of this video. Very awesome. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you so much for watching the video. Definitely leave a like if you enjoyed. But this is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.